Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. Well, Brandon and I just got back from filling up the feed trough or feed wagon, whatever you call it. Um, we went ahead and got a four-way blend instead of the DNH that we got before. One, because, I mean, it was a different kind and it just, I don't know, it just... We didn't, I don't think they, the goats liked it as much. They always wasted like the yellow pieces that were kind of, they looked like chicken feed. But, um, so they didn't like that part of it. So we went ahead and got the four way, which it looks a little bit similar. Oscar really likes it. And <laughs> Crybaby's little girl likes laying in it. But we went ahead and did that just because it ran low and you know, we gotta keep it full. Cool. But um, I did get a little bit of um, footage from the actual mill, and I'm going to show that here, and then we'll see you back on the farm. Well, guys, we're in line to get some feed. Brandon just went inside where um, we were just behind a couple, couple people, and now we are getting weighed. And then we will go pay for the feed. And then we will come back and get in line and actually get our feed. But he should come out from right around this yellow sign. There he is. Let's see how much this bad boy weighs. That's why I married him. It's a nutty self. All right. What are you done? Trying to steal a little content and put it in your video? Well, maybe. We weighed 6,900 pounds. Yeah. 6,900 pounds. Man, you weigh a lot. Yep. So I'm going to go try to. What's sad is you wasn't even in here when they weighed. Yeah. <laughs> Friends up there moving some of the grain around. Yeah. He's moving it around. He's moving it around so that this guy up top can actually finish filling it up. We're going to fill it completely full this time. So we loaded the trailer up. Y'all kind of saw a little bit of that. And now we were back at the weigh station and Brandon went inside to see how much um, weight we added on. So y'all kind of guessed right here. Put it down in the comment box. No cheating. Don't wait till I say something. But go and tell me how much you think we weigh now. We weighed 6,900 before. Now tell me. How much? 1,100 pounds. 1,100. 1,100, 180. Um, a total of feed, we've got 4,200 pounds of feed. That's a lot of feed, boys and girls. It but is. now we're gonna go pay out and then get back to the farm. Oh. That was actually um, how they work at Stillwater Milling. They you weigh yourself, then you go and get the feed, then you weigh yourself again, and then you go pay. I thought it was you weigh yourself, then you go pay for all of it, and then you get it, but I was kind of opposite on it. But, um, so it was, it, it's pretty fun looking. I mean, it'd be fun to kind of work somewhere in there. One more thing before we get to seeing the rest of the animals is we are going to be giving away some merch and a Blue Eddy AC, I believe it's a 200. And, but the way you qualify for that 
is make sure you are subscribed to both mine, Life on the Eddie Family Farm, and our main channel, Eddie Family Farm, and leave us a comment down so that we know y'all are there. So, anyways, let's get back to it. I did figure out, I mean, it was kind of obvious, but it wasn't obvious to me, I guess. And that, you know how it always stays wet. Well, I was thinking, you know, because it hasn't rained in a while, it should dry up. Well, some of it has dried up, but this front part has not. And I was kind of like, duh. We cleaned the water trough, just like Brandon just cleaned it out earlier. We clean it out every other day to every couple days, depending on how it looks. And um, when we dump it, usually there's still about half, if not even more. water still left in it and um it drains and comes straight down this way so that's something that i didn't think about but it was something that was very obvious we did go ahead brandon and i fed since we just got it and it's almost time to get the kiddos anyways hi girl hi girl how are you yeah they like it. This boy's getting real tame, too. He likes me, too. Hi. I want you to come up to me. Come here. No? No? All right. Let's go see. Oh, yeah. I know you'll come up to me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you don't like me touching your ears, though. <laughs> Bushwhacker over here. bud are y'all sharing sharing is caring <laughs> now you have feed the donkeys on the outside have feed in this bigger trough that they share with the llamas they kind of go back and forth right here and i went ahead and gave them they don't have to have this feed they have this whole property but I like this better because this yellow stuff that the goats don't like, there's not as much in it. So that's what all of them are doing over there. They're eating and um, the dogs look like they're eating over there too, but they got food. We fed them. We fed the chickens. We fed the donkeys. We fed them all. Oh, that's a nice donkey, Carly. Nice darn donkey. I'm gonna go over here and show y'all the chickens Kaysen got. He got a surprise the other night with some chickens. And they are actual, let me see if I get this right. I think they're, they're show chickens, not for sure the breed, but they are show chickens. And then we also have some Rhode Island Reds. He likes these because they're really, really big. Now, he likes the other ones, too. But you see how long their legs are? They're so pretty. and They're really tame, too. <laughs> and then in this one, Brandon's actually working on another pin because these are actually two pairs. But... <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Those are Kaysen's uh, show chickens now. So we will probably start off with like 4 H and stuff like that, showing them at just the local fair and stuff. Then we may end up letting him show farther out, like bigger shows and stuff like that. But it's gonna be it's gonna pre be pretty cool to see him actually get out there and show his chickens because I know how much he loves them and most of you know how much he loves them. But to see to let everybody else like in the show business and stuff see it's gonna be pretty cool. So um, y'all can kind of tell I'm a little bit out of breath. Well, it's I got the whole sinuses and everything going on. It kind of started at wrestling. I think it was because 
the wrestling Layton actually wrestled in a tournament Saturday <coughs> and he did amazing I'm gonna show you all that footage but he did really really good but in that wrestling room it was so hot like we we've, we've wrestled since Layton's been uh, three years old and I mean I haven't been to a gym I don't think that's been this hot like I was panting <laughs> and um but so every I don't know every so often we was there from like seven in the morning to seven at night now we had to leave it's an hour hour and a half away so we had to actually leave um he had to be at the gym at 5 45 so we had to leave the house by 5 30 and um we didn't get home till it was super late so i'm super glad that i did my video the day before i forgot to post it so i didn't post it until closer to 9 10 o'clock i think but um the reason i was saying this was because allergies got me bad because we went outside to where it was really it, it would be really cold like i would have to wear a jacket but because how hot it was inside it didn't feel as cold as it actually was so we did that probably we went outside five or six different times kind of in between whatever and um that got me and Kaysen big time Kaysen his allergies flared up too which it's normal for him usually it's not normal for me but the last couple of years I've been getting them bad too and um but anyways I'm going to go ahead and show Layton wrestling in the tournament right now
amazing, didn't he? He ended up, if you watch the whole thing, um, he ended up first place. So he had three matches and won all three of them. And I'm, I'm real, real proud of him. As I know most of you are. He, he's got the same discipline and stuff that he's always had, but he's also has country boy in him. <laughs> That's just, he's got that country strength, carrying feed bags or helping with the water, running hoses. It all takes strength and he's got it down. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I was super excited about him. But the last thing I'm gonna talk about is Mr. Badger. Badger has been pestering, pestering, pestering. The goats, the, I mean, the donkey is something different just because the donkey's new, so they've got to figure each other out. But the goats have been here forever. And Badger keeps trying to, he keeps trying to mate with them and just, He's just a boy, so I understand, but it's one of those things we've got to teach him a lesson that he's got to leave the goats alone. He's supposed to be there to protect them, not hurt them. So, we decided to put him in the round pen. Round pen. Brandon put him in here yesterday, and he's got feed and water over here, and we just... He's just in a little timeout. So, yeah. Anyways, that's what's up with Badger. Everybody else is still the same. They're either out or in the main pen. But I do want to mention again, if you are subscribed to Eddie Family Farm and Life on the Eddie Family Farm, you will be entered in a drawing for some new merch and a blue and a new blue Eddie. And it's one of the bigger Blue Eddies. But, yeah. So, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure your button's pushed. You may think you're subscribed, but really not be. And just yeah. go ahead and do that. So, make sure you are subscribed to both channels. And just go ahead and leave a comment on both. And leave a comment in the comment box. So, so that's gonna wrap it up here. Brandon's needing my help over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn the notification bell on and subscribe. God bless.